The old quay on the River Scheldt houses three buildings which were part of the legendary Red Star Line Shipping Company. This company sailed between Antwerp and Ellis Island, New York between 1873 and 1934. The Red Star Line buildings, known as RSL 1, 2, and 3, are now being restored as a museum. This museum will tell the story of the Red Star Line's two million passengers. The buildings themselves are the most important artifact in the exhibition. To that end, we've done a complete restoration at its period of significance in the 1920s. Richard Southwick is one of the architects involved in the restoration of the Red Star Line buildings. His firm, Fireblender Bell, also worked on the restoration of the Ellis Island Immigration Museum. The center arch is the entrance into Red Star Line 2 and will now, a hundred years later, be the entrance to the museum for the Red Star Line. There will be a new, uh, very modern vestibule where the visitor will enter into uh, the museum, and that begins the visitor experience. Through RSL 2, we're going to come to a tunnel, essentially, that goes into RSL 1, which is the most historic of the three buildings. As part of the restoration, the architects wanted to recreate the feelings of the people as they waited for approval to board the ship. As we walk along this wall, we'll have a very large photograph of what this building looked like in the 1920s. There'll be a very large abstract globe uh, right in the center, and that will be rung with 16 video monitors that will show various images of migration through the years. A large amount of attention has been paid to energy-saving measures. This includes double glazing, a green roof and insulation. We've added a new roof that replicates the old corrugated tin roof, but now it's a modern structure of 40 inches of insulation with uh, corrugated metal both top and bottom. The tower, which is 30 meters high, is a real eye-catcher. The tower replaces the old chimney and is shaped like the bow of a ship. The tower is cast in place concrete, the formwork is a complex ge geometric shape, and the contractor had to design very special formwork to pick up the complex curves which receded as the tower rose. In time, the tower may become an iconic part of Antwerp's skyline. It symbolizes the dreams of millions of people hoping for a new life in the land of opportunity. The view from the top of the tower uh, really allows people to look at the, the larger global idea of travel throughout the world. Uh, the very mysterious and scary journey of emigrant uh, compared to how global the wor world is now and how easily it is to get from one end of the world to the other.